Biologists are trying to unravel a mystery in northeastern New Mexico. More than 100 elk found dead on a ranch about 20 miles north of Las Vegas. The news comes as a shock to game and fish investigators and to hunters just days away from hunting season. News 13's Tina Jensen has the story. Sky News 13 flying over a gruesome discovery on the sprawling 75,000 acre Buena Vista ranch near Mora. A massive die off of more than 100 elk within one square mile. The elk weren't shot, so Game and Fish is investigating just what caused the deaths, which seemed to happen overnight. Their top suspicion? Something called epizootic hemorrhagic disease, or EHD. Fatal disease is caused by insect bites. An elk could get a fever. Um, it's a, usually a pretty fast illness, and up to 8 to 36 hours later, the animals go into shock and then they die. This is the time of year when it strikes most. When it's hot, an elk herd stick together near water. It is more common when it's been very hot. Um, the gnats live in areas with um, standing water. With elk bow hunting season starting on Sunday, some guided expeditions in the area may be called off. <music> Biologists are sending tissue samples from the elk and water samples from the area for testing. If it is EHD, Game and Fish says it's not contagious to humans, and it's not spread from animal to animal. Elk and deer get it from insect bites, which would be good news for bears in the area who are already conducting their own hunt as nature takes its course. Tina Jensen, KRQE News 13. The Game and Fish say no other die-offs of elk have been reported in New Mexico so far this year. They say hunters should avoid harvesting elk that appear sick and to call and report anything unusual.